Hey everybody, and welcome back to Northern Land Plays Sekiro. Uh, one thing that people have told me is, hey NL, there is another enemy for you to fight as well. They've been telling me this for a while. I'm sorry it slipped my mind until I started this episode right here. Apparently, there is a boss in the poison pool where previously there were like two rooms and nothing. Oh, also, nobody's here anymore. Except you. What are you doing here? Really? Oh wait, there's another one. I mean, I don't mind fighting you just for lore reasons, you know? Wait a minute, there's one more too. You're cool. In, in my books, you're cool. If you're far enough away that we gotta grapple, you're cool. Alright, so they were saying, I think, down here, previously, there was nothing. What's going on now? Who or what did this to you? Large ape on my neck. <laughs> my neck. My crack. <laughs> Sorry, I did it wrong. My back. And my crack. Another. Okay, is Guardian Ape, but this time, my man starts headless. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's the one you run away from. Okay, I just gotta remember my patterns. What is that, dude? That's a new one, I think. That's where you run. Red goo equals, uh, voulez-vous. Which I think means, do you want to go? And the answer is, a oh, we, oui, mon frere. No wonder everybody was telling me about this boss. It's well known that even still to this day, I might consider the Guardian Ape the best Sekiro boss. Might as well heal up here. Not just fun, uh, but also like, I don't know, the spirit of a lot of these bosses, for me at least, is like memorizing attack patterns. And I think this guy had the best mechanic for that. I really felt like learning to fight him was like, yo, how do we not get hit? It was like playing punch out again. I thought I parried, but obviously, I don't distrust the game. That's probably our first lethal. Good stuff. What happens now? You're gonna lose a different head? Where are you going? What's he doing? No, you wouldn't. <laughs> oh, come on. That's just madness. So I'm trying to... I'm, I'm using my noggin. Just trying to think of, like, how we would even approach this. Oh, dude, his posture is super weak. Okay. Okay. Yes, it's still bad, by the way. I understand. I understand. Sincerely. This guy is firework spam. Unfortunately, we can't get hit in the process. And we're going to get hit, but that's fine. We, I, I totally get it now. So this guy, we're going to rush him down. And if we have to fight two of these sons of guns... While they're both headless, then that might be where I say, you know what, Sekiro? No, I'm not gonna do that. But for now, I'm actually a little disappointed I didn't sight read that one, because it doesn't seem that hard. You know what I'm thinking as well. I mean, I don't want to say, by the way, that I uh, called it, but every mini boss for the final act of this game is. 
boss from earlier plus boss. Like when I was talking about Sekiro with Austin, I really thought uh, you know his number one. I don't want to say complaint, but the the meme was like multiple health bars, multiple phases. I feel like instead it really doubled down on multiple enemies. No problem. Actually, no problem. What are you doing? Red goo equals voulez vu. Uh, he attack equals you fight back. Really thought we deserved to get hit, to be honest. But now we got ourselves back in the back in the good books. That's right. We're back in the Bible. The, the goodest book of all. Good. No posture recovery necessary. Run for your life, by the way. Oh, mama, I'm afraid for my life through the long arm of the headless ape. Hangman is coming down from the gallows. Gonna summon a second guardian ape. You guys like Thin Lizzy? Or really a Lizzie that is, you know, is healthy at any size. Alright. I mean, why not just use the Immortal Blade the first time, but also don't let me tell you how to live your life, you know? He's gonna terrify. He's not terrifying. He's just... Okay, spam him. Okay, step one. Very simple. Run. Please be actually dead. Or at least give me enough of a window to kill you before you come back. I think we're good. <laughs> Scary moments, though. I mean, you tell me how that whiffed. It's fine, dude. I'm... Honestly, love and life right now. Six heals remain. Health bar is getting, getting hit. I knew it. He's going buck wild. Don't get caught by the backswing. You guys like Bruce Springsteen? Better from the backswing. Hiding from the back swing. Look, it's not one of his biggest hits. But it is off one of his best albums, Born to Run. It's like track four. Most people are kind of like a Thunder Road, Born to Run. That, that's a full album. Like, Don't be that person. You're just like, I just listened to Thunder Road and Born to Run and Jungle Land. I mean, Jungle Land is an all-time... Slapper. There's no doubt about that, but. Have some respect for the for the album. It has respect for you in many ways. I think we got him, dude. Alright. Well that's you know, it's just that easy. Another boss down. You better be a double prayer bead sort of son of a gun. Or a memory. I'll take a memory. Memory. Headless ape. And the, pr and the prayer bead. And the prayer be Is two prayer beads and the memory? Of a time when I tried so hard? Dude, that's... Sorry, Ruka. I woke up my cat. He's sleeping in here. But, dude, that's a huge power gain. At one time, the guardian ape shared its den with the mate, but he alone became infested while the other passed away. 
Yeah, well, at one point, the guardian ape was a jerk, and uh, he deserved to die, and I'm not sorry. How do you feel about that? Now, here's your next question. This is, this is a big one. This is for double points. How the heck do you get back to terrestrial headless? I don't know any of the places in this frigging game. I'm just going to be honest with you, dude. It's not a Sunken Valley, Gunford, Riven Cave, Bodhisattva, Guardian Apes, Watering Hole. It's not near Secret Passage. I don't even... I don't think it's Senpo Temple. Is it the outskirts? N well, let's not talk about this guy just yet. I would at least like to get one more prayer bead, you know? I know that there's two... Um, at the Great Sakura... We could fight if we want. You know, why not? At least we know where they are. But the other one is in that weird... Maybe it is Senpo Temple. Where, you know, there's the... It's Misty. This is where you go. Oh, Misty Temple. You just missed it there. So I'm not saying... We're about to... Get these headless, okay? Doesn't he summon right there? You really want to fight me, you weird fish? No, he's running. Okay, well, do it. Ah, I'm so sorry. I, I. Fish are friends, dude. I, I hate you, by the way. Okay, much appreciated. Let's heal up again, I hate to say it, but I'd rather start, you know, in the good books. So I know... There they are. Now, I would just prefer to not have to deal with both of you simultaneously. recognize it's unlikely like is there anything we can do to maximize our odds again I mean yes divine confetti and whatever the other thing is that like removes terror you're not even a real headless that's the that's the scary part. You might as well just kill me. I gotta tell you, I don't know if I want to even fight these guys. This fight seems like uh, an absolute disaster. But I suppose we could handle one in the same way we handled the other. That's gonna hurt. Yep. Um, just always swimming and running from them. Uh, and, and it's going to be much less likely for us to take our shot, but that's not necessarily something that should maybe keep me from that. I mean, at this point, I'll just level with you. I would rather fight the Demon of Hatred than fight those two headless. That doesn't mean the Demon of Hatred is harder necessarily. It's just... Just the way I see is it. Is it Shigin, though? Sorry, NL, did you, were you speaking English to me there? No, I was speaking, uh, I was speaking Japanese from Sekiro. Now, I don't, I don't really want to fight man in terror area. I actually feel like underground headless seemed to be the easiest of all the headlesses. Sculptor's idol found. <laughs> okay. Maybe you can get there from the inner sanctum? I don't know. I don't know, man. How do you feel about it, Ruka? He's so asleep right now. My man is loving life. Sorry, this is not the inner sanctum I thought it was, but we might as well see if you got rice available. Uh, sorry, that's the thing. Is the rice is not ready for harvest. It's, it's been 20 hours since I met this guy, but rice is not ready for harvest, by the way.
This might be- Oh, do, do not go to the Halls of Illusion, you coward. Never return. I refuse to fight these guys again. You still here? You please tell me to leave. Why? As you do not have Yeah, I'm out. Alright. So that this does not become another sunken valley sort of episode. I'm gonna take this opportunity to alt tab. And then I go headless Sekiro. No, not cheese. Where are you? Give it a second. Is it Sunken Valley? No, that's... Yeah. Fountainhead Palace. Oh, yeah, no kidding. Ashina Castle. We did that one. Ashina Depths in the Hidden Forest. Okay. Now we're talking, brother. I might not have that uh, access to that idol right now, which would be personally very devastating for me. I'm like, I'm losing it. Where the heck is the hidden forest? Have we removed that area from existence? I'm dying. Did we is that where we had to fall to get to? Found near the bottom of okay, bottom of the lake we've done. Ashina depths. Hidden forest. Okay. I think uh the way that we got there was maybe via bottomless hole. I don't recall. Hey, while we're here, we could fight the Shichimi warrior. Love this guy. I don't know, man. Hey, how's it going? Hit him with one of these, dude. Wow. He does still get stunned by fireworks. Leading me to believe that even still to this day, the fireworks are the greatest invention this game has ever seen. Is that it? You're not gonna tell me. The way to beat these guys is you just run. And then when you get a chance, you sneak in there and do a couple of attacks. You're telling me I could have been fighting these guys for years? Well, on the bright side... You're witnessing, as the millennials call it, a real glow up. I'm glowing up. Because I now understand the only thing capable of stopping me is myself, in a broad sense. And also, like, the purple skulls. I'll admit the purple skulls, I, I don't really love them. It's not really the reason I want to play the game, but... Like, I now at least understand... We're not just supposed to run from this guy. Or, we're not just supposed to stand here and fight him, I mean. We're supposed to maybe run from him. And then, uh, when you get your chance, jump in there. Hit him a little bit. And slowly and surely, maybe you'll get him. What's coming for me? Big Skull? Big Skull is very scary for me. Face me, you coward. Well, I'm starting... <laughs> I 
Again, I'm starting to realize. I think I'm actually, like, maybe not quite as bad as I thought I would be at these guys. I really thought there was some kind of, like, superpower I lacked. Now that time, can I level with you? There's a little human greed involved in that one. I would just like him to stop being cheesed off. I don't mind using resources to secure a kill. I would just like to be very confident of the kill first. Yeah, yeah, woo! Whoop. I get it, you love the... Is that the Shamisen? You got me, congratulations. We're gonna kill this guy, and it might, it might take every uh, ounce of blood in my body. We're gonna get him, we're gonna get that seventh prayer bead upgrade at least. Let me see, what do we got? Uh, not the divine confetti, yes, maybe, but. Pacifying agent reduces terror buildup and increases terror resistance. I just wish I could pinwheel this guy. You know what I mean? I don't know if we're able to pop this. How much what do we have as far as pacifying agents goes? Eight. I, I think I popped it. I think, yeah, I definitely got it out of my system or I would be deceased right now. So let's just hope it lasts longer than other consumables. Excuse me. I'm spamming my fireworks. You should be uh, in awe of my battle techniques. You should just be unbelievably stunned by the incredible mechanics on display. Okay, we've lost our pacifying agent benefit. Which again leads me to believe that, like all other consumables in this game, that are not invisibility makers, it's basically worth nothing. Its existence is a cruel joke designed to trick you into thinking there's an easy way to beat bosses. I gotta admit though, it's going. Easily more frustrating than the headless fight. Just being sincere. But I know. I'm opening myself up to caricature. Where? The boss isn't a big man with a sword. What are you doing from software? By the way, get in there. Thank you. Heal up. Very necessary. You freaking jerk. Did, did you use it? Am I dumb? There we go. Oh, he's coming back anyway. Whoa! Took me by surprise. Heal up. There's no reason to risk it right now. For the biscuit or otherwise. God, he's good. God, he... This is just... You know what? This is not miserable. You might as well heal. And, you know, if you gotta... 
Do not shy away from using another pacifying agent. It's like trying to drive down Kingsway during rush hour, dude. It's a little Vancouver driving humor for you. You just gotta stay on him. Don't be afraid. I hate it, dude. I, 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 I actually just don't like it. Um, I'm gonna do it. Here's the thing. People lie to me on a regular basis. It's a bad habit because I can sniff it out a mile away. But they say, NL, if you're not having fun, we're not having fun. Don't lie to me. I know that's not true. Some of the most fun videos I've ever made have been videos where I had no fun whatsoever. And I'm hoping that's what's happening right here. I think we can just... I'm at least learning a little as we fight him. Like, one thing I'm learning is that... Uh, whoever did the cameras for these games should not be fired. I would never go that far. But they should definitely have a conversation with whoever's doing the environments and make sure, like... You know, they're working together instead of against one another. You know what? I think I gotta use a Shinobi to... Not Shinobi. I think I gotta use a Shuriken to knock you down when you're in the air. Let's even equip that right now. That's, that's the wrong thing. Like this, I don't care, dude. When he hits me using his weapon, I'm okay. He did take some damage. It didn't interrupt him, and I thought it would, I'll admit. Okay, heal up. We actually, after our earlier disaster, this doesn't seem that bad right now. This part still sucks. But at least we're not dying in one hit anymore. How about instead of summoning these guys, you just don't and you die to me instead? How do you feel about that? Gotta, gotta take them, gotta break them. Thank you. Okay, now this part. Still pretty freaking annoying. You know what? I'll, I'll meet you halfway. I don't want to die instantaneously, even though we probably still will whenever this dude shoots a, shoots a beam. So Papa pacifying agent amazing actually incredible that's a heck of a shot is that salt talking no is mutual respect for another warrior These are the big ones. Run, brother! Right, good move, honestly. That's our punish window. Okay, we got him into a good pattern here.
This is not my ideal. I mean, if you take this guy just at like a game context, he's a pretty cool boss. It's just actually fighting him sucks really badly. Were it not for the fact that you actually have to fight him, this wouldn't be nearly as bad. We're so close. Do not disappear. There were those who thought it would never be done. The ceremonial Tonto dagger with a stark white blade and hilt converts vitality into spirit emblems. Resting replenishes its charges. Originally, this Tonto was used in ritual offering to the dragon in which an emblem would be cut from one's own life force and set adrift on the fountainhead waters. You're telling me my man does not drop a prayer bead. I know that this is probably ten times more valuable than a prayer bead. But you know what it isn't? A prayer bead. I was looking. I was like, can we go up here now? There we go. Who knows? This might even be a new freaking area. Ah, a pacifying agent. Like, there's a, there's a door here that I've been eyeing for quite some time. The heck is this? Here lies the vassals of the Ashina clan executed after the Great Rebellion. May their spirits rest. Dude, no wonder people had cheesed off. Stop. Oh, hello! My dear Shinobi, I thank you for dutifully completing your task. At this moment, the person in question is in the surgery facility of the abandoned dungeon. Our trials can now move forward. I offer this as my thanks. Please, take it. It's a prayer bead. <laughs> That's it, dude? It's about time you have performed my master and- Okay. Um... Who would have thought, dude? It was right here the whole time. Um, the, the, the medical facility of the abandoned dungeon? Well, I suppose we'll give that a chance on the next episode. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm really surprised we can get a prayer bee, but life goes on. Uh, if you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.